Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery with some mead and black paint I'm about to spread on the remainder of this side of a 10 by 20 inch canvas with my OXO omelette turning flip and fold spatula best paint spreading tool I know of and then I'm going to show you hopefully I left it handy the container the original size container you know what I'm gonna spread that a little thicker or a little thinner <laughs> not gonna spread anything thicker just gonna use the residual here That might be a fool's errand. Um, all right, I've got a scrape dish, so I'll just scrape it off and wipe it off in my studio rag, which is damp and made from cotton, heavy cotton turtleneck. Dry that off a little more. I'm gonna use some Artist Loft White. All my paint pouring recipes are usually under the video, except for when I'm using prison pours, there's really not a lot of extra space for all of them, so I'll tell you now that I mix three quarter flow troll with a quarter GAC 800 to create my pouring medium. And after that, I add however much color up to half I feel I need. And if it's too heavy, I add a little more pouring medium. And if it's not heavy enough or not saturated in color enough, I add a little more color. Let's use that there. Scrape this off along here. Not too worried about that really right now. The flow troll levels things. It also makes things matte. That is why I do not use it in my prism pores. My prism pores are mixed with, I'm going to stop now, vivid polypore. And I made myself a shovel pourer out of a container that chicken salad or whatever came in from Publix and I've got some Anita's white metallic in the bottom there and I'm going to put my prison pour blue velvet in. Now the last time I used this I poured it into a funnel which was probably going to be a very different reaction than the reaction that I'm expecting this time but you never know this is African violet I love, love, love the African Violet. I think it might be among my favorite purples, although a lot of them are my favorites. I'm going to just keep adding colors. This is Frosted Berry from the Jack Frost Collection, which reminds me, don't forget to look for the 20% off promo code underneath the video. I'm going to use a little bit of hot orchid, which I need to add some more something, anything, maybe a little water to thin because it's very thick. And you can't get it anymore, but I've, I've heard you can make it with jasmine, the pigment powder. So this is the Royal Galaxy. I'm really tempted by some frozen knock that off let's see if I can get the lid off it takes a minute to set up for sure and this is from yesterday and I'm just going to give it a very quick stir the cover back on I think I'm going to indulge in some Tuscan Sun. And right along with it is some orange. I don't know what it is. It probably came from who knows where. Put a little claret in there. Oh, I love the claret. It's dark and delicious. Reminds me of black cherry. And the poinsettia is another favorite. I guess they're all my favorites, really. 
Now what I found when I did my funnel pour slash open cup pour was that I really liked the result of having added a little bit of black. So that's probably going to happen. Add a little maiden black. And I might add a little squirt of the Anita's White Metallic also. What color do I not have in here that I want in here? I'm very tempted by the Water Dragon, but then I'll have, by that time, I'm going to have every color. of the rainbow, except for my Fandango. Whoops, that was the Artist Loft White. That ought to be different. Okay, let's put a little bit of the Anita's in there. I'm going to be cheeky and put a little bit of my Dioxazine Purple Aussie Floetrol in there. Not much evidently though, because it's kind of plugged. Let's do a little more orange and hope for the best and do what I said I was going to do right after I put some Aztec gold everywhere. This is interesting. Okay, so now I have what I want to pour. I'm going to let the rest of it rest in case I want to use it. And I'm going to grab myself an edge catcher to let paint flow onto in case I need it. I meant to let those overlap each other, but it looks like I've got some of that effect already anyway. I'm just going to follow the line. I'm going to let that go right up over that edge. Those colors are tremendous. What gorgeous colors. I love the black in there. Sorry, I'm basically twisting everything upside down. What I want is a smaller edge catcher and I have it. First I'm going to fix this one little end piece. This way any of the paint is going to go on that edge catcher. And I really could still indulge myself and use some cell activator. and one of my little acetate tools. Now if I let the paint touch the card, I can rock the card and it will cover the edge. And it has done so. So now I'm going to go back the other way again. It might be just a super simple, very little technical nece ability necessary design. Although I have got that other paint and I am inclined to not waste paint. And I could put it on my Lola Fee silicone mat for sure. Or I could add it in dribbles. Or I could take the straw to this, which is what I just found out I might like to do. Question is, do I want to drag anything out? And I might. Like to add a few tendrils. I 
I really want <laughs> to go ahead and use my cell activator. It's not that the colors aren't beautiful, because I think they are. I kind of need to grab a spatula and use it. Not sure about that yellow right here. There's an easy fix for things like that. Just cover it up. It's time to grab a spatula. I'm quiet because I'm focused. I still haven't stopped thinking about whether I want to do any fussing with cell activator or not. As I use my spatula and leave some white space behind, I kind of like what that what that's doing. Creating that negative space. Just barely picking up what's in the bottom of my little container. And I'm thinking that the white that I have left in here our dog has discovered a hole in the fence and has visited the neighbor's house and they have chickens. And we're not sure which dog it is because we have two. I have other paint. Look at that. I've just discovered other paint. I do want to diffuse that yellow a little bit. I have all kinds of other paint hanging around in little dishes to use up. I'm not sure that was a good mark. But I also haven't come to the conclusion that I'm done yet either. Which means that I can still play if I want to. I think I've used up all the paint that I could find. And now, if I want more,
there. That's not bad. I suppose I could use purple cell activator and I have a little tool. Depends on how much time I've got. I've got like 42 seconds left. And I think if I'm going to do anything, it's going to be with the white. I'm not sure what it should be either. But once the timer goes off, I've still got a few more minutes. I've got two minutes to tell you guys. I do sell my artwork. If you want to be of help to support the studio, you can definitely do that. I'm going to use some of that purple cell activator if it'll come out. Hoping my head isn't completely obscuring everything, and it probably is. I think what I want to do Use the purple cell activator right there. I mean, it is kind of like that. And if I do it again over here, I should tell you guys other stuff. <laughs> I have an Amazon link, and it's on the link tree, and the link tree is under the video. There is always a 20% off coupon anytime I'm using Prism Pores. There, I kind of don't mind that. Kind of like that, and I don't know why, but it was immediately inclined to add that. I'm liking it. Just sort of expanding on what I've got. If I haven't added the acetate tool tutorial, let me know and I'll add it. If you're not on a place, if you're not in a place or watching on a device where you can see it, let me know. So I definitely like that. I also love using the edge of my little acetate tool. Perfect. I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. I've got two books on my Amazon link on the link tree. The link tree is under, under Show More along with my paint growing recipe. On the link tree you can find Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, my Facebook groups, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group. I could have had a lot of cells in this. If I had wanted to um, swipe through. <coughs> but I opted not to do that. I can still have some interesting marks. Just by using and dragging my little acetate tool. I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourself.